Can you guys hear me? Good evening. I'm not going to take up a lot of your time. I just want to let you know that uh, the Phillies are here by our community, and I'm here to support you. Um, I have a program that I run in New Jersey. I live over in Jersey across the bridge, and I'm putting it on video so you can get it over here into the city. And it's entitled, You're Better Than Average. Okay? Take personal pride in yourself as an individual and make things happen. I'm here to tell you, I grew up in Washington, D.C. In the city. If I can get your attention, please. You know, I'm going to sit up here and talk, you know, and if I can touch one person, I've done my job. That's the way I do it, you know. I do this all the time. Because I have friends and family members who are behind bars now because they didn't want to listen to this mess. So I'm going to get this time whether you want to listen to me or not. First thing is, I said you're better than that. Take personal pride in yourself as an individual. You know, everybody goes, you know, if I get a C in school, you know, I'm getting by, I'm making, I'm, I'm, I'm going through. That's not good enough. You got to take personal pride in yourself and do the best you possibly can do. You know, if I, if I have a C this great period, I got to see, but you know what? I'm not where I need to be. I always set goals for myself as I came up through school, and I, I'm still setting goals for myself now. Um, I got through baseball, and now I'm, uh, you know, I play in the big leagues, and now I'm coaching with the Phillies. I'm the hitting coach for the Phillies right now. But one day, I'm going to be a manager in the big leagues. Because I'm not stopped. I, I haven't reached my goals yet. So I keep, I keep trying. I never give up. I always stay positive. And I'm going to backtrack a little bit and tell you a little bit about that road to the big leagues. Okay? You guys see these guys making all this money up there in the big leagues saying, man, they make money. You don't know about the road to get there. Okay? It takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of dedication. And it's not pleasant. I'll tell you right now, it's not pleasant at all. You know, being, being a guy coming from up north in Washington, D.C., and you sit out down south, you're by yourself, and you got to grow up in the earth. And you don't make a lot of money in the environment. When I signed a professional contract back in 1979, I'm my age a little bit here, I made 600 a month, and that was it for baseball, 600 a month. You know, you see these big salaries once you get up to the big leagues. Those guys in the market are not making a lot of money. But you know what? I'm here to tell you that dreams come true. But you gotta make it happen. You gotta make it happen. I started, I started it back in about the fifth grade. I looked at myself one day and I said, you know what? Where do I want to be when I grow up? So I set three goals for myself at that time. I want to be a football player. I wanted to be a policeman, I wanted to be a teacher, and I ended up being a baseball player, but the point was, at that time, I said, what do I want to do? I said, three options for myself, and in order to reach any option, in order to be successful in life, it starts with an education. You know, you guys go to school five days a week. Do you understand? That is your job. Your job is to be the best student you possibly can be. Money and pride. That's your job. Get up in that school and buckle down. Now, if you show up to class without paper, pencil, books, or proper tools to make yourself a better person, you're only cheating yourself. What's up, man? How you doing? You know, again, you? it's about you. It's about you making you be the best person you possibly can be. So when I enter that school room, it's all about business. Because I'm going to better myself as a person. And that's what it's all about. When you get in that classroom, it's all about business. You got plenty of time to do your things and whatever after school's over. But from the time you enter that classroom, that school, the time you leave out, it should be all about business. Because you know what? That's about bettering you as a person. That's what it's all about. Getting an education. You know, they can't take an education away from you. A lot of things you can lose. You can lose a job. You can lose a job. But an education they cannot take away from you. So remember that. But I'm going to let you guys go on. I just wanted to just stop by and let you know that the Phillies care about you. I definitely care about you. I spend my whole winter, once the season's over, going to schools, talking to kids, 
preaching to kids about the importance of an education and about the importance of taking personal pride in yourself and doing the best you can. And on the note of, you know, violence and, and, and things that are going on here, you know, it takes a big person to walk away from conflict. It takes a big person to walk away. So I'm asking you to, you know, stay away from it, walk away from it. Because nothing good will come out. Again, thank you for your time. I hope I touched somebody. I got some cards for you guys if you want them. And uh, go Phillies. We'll get, we'll get there this year. All right? Sorrow 